SSD upgrade. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing SSD upgrade to this Dell Inspiron 620 computer, which I got recently. So, um, now because my tripod broke, um, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned style of unboxing. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to be, I did buy three other ones, but I don't know if I'm going to record videos on them. So, let's just, let me just try to get this out here. Let's hope that none of these are dead, but I'm not going to do them all in one video. I'm probably going to do these other ones off camera. So... I've been waiting for this all day, and the UPS driver just came by, so... I'm probably gonna be censoring this because I don't want the drive stuff showing. Drive's information, so... UPS, by the way, sucks. Been waiting all day, and they finally delivered at, like, 5.40. And they usually don't deliver till about 5 o'clock, so... Um... Looks just the same as the one the um on. Look, it's, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same uh, thing as the one in the um in the Dell Inspiron 3458 uh, restoration and upgrades video. So um I'm going to plug. Is this the right flash drive? I had to go through and find which flash drive. I think yeah, this one's the correct one. So I'm going to go and plug in this computer. Um, I'm gonna put all the stuff and plug it in, so I'll be back. All right, guys. So I am back. Um, I just plugged in the computer. I just switched the input. Uh, and I got all the stuff plugged in. I'm going to plug in my Ventoy, and we're gonna power it on. So I need to go to the setup, and I just got this computer a couple days back. So we're going to now upgrade it to an SSD. So let's do it. So we need to boot up to a Cronus. Oh, um, I should. I need to go grab um my hard drive enclosure closure so we can clone the hard drive. But um, well, let's just boot this. Well, let me just hold on. I'll I'll boot it and then I'll grab the drive enclosure because yeah. Um, the what? Things not letting me move. That's weird. Cronus true image. That's weird that what the mouse is this mouse broken? Is this mouse broken. Ignore my dirty wall by the way. I need to clean it. It's loading. Um Nope. The mouse is now working. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. Um let me pause and Pause it and put the drive in the enclosure so BRB. Ah, hold on. Alright guys, so I'm back. I've just put the drive in the enclosure. We're going to plug it in to the USB port. So we're going to go into tools. And I don't know if this is going to be a but everything went wrong video. Which this, we're going to have to find out if it, if it's fine. But everything goes wrong, then yeah. So... We want to clone this drive, which is actually a um, Seagate uh, 250 gig hard drive. Um, we are going. I am going to open up the computer in a minute. Um, well, when it. So we want to do this in the Seagate. Um, so we're going to let it load. Hopefully, it will detect the um, the SSD I just plugged in. I don't know if it would be too late. I'm not sure. All right, so we want the not initialized one. So we're going to do SCSI, even though SCSI and USB are the same thing, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to do that to replace the disc on this machine. And let's see, it's going to do, it's going to before and then after. Proceed. So guys, while this is cloning, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll let it do its thing and clone, so um, I'll let the computer be. I'll just go watch some YouTube and stuff while this clones. So, um, I don't want to touch it because I'm afraid it's going to disconnect and mess up. So, 
I'm just gonna pause the video while this clones and the, that the keyboard and mouse is for my laptop right there and then this and this is for that so just in case you're wondering I don't I those I use with my main machine which is right here um so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it says it's completed so yeah all right guys so I'm back I don't know how long this took but um I was doing some things I was upgrading other computer hard drives to SSDs so with those of the SSDs I bought but um as you can see it's done so I'm going to click OK I'm going to get out of that it's going to shut down so I'm going to push and hold the power button so that way it doesn't boot back into the Windows install and we're going to do it so I'm just gonna have to use this thing I don't know where my I don't know where any of my stuff went I misplaced all of it so we're gonna have to just use this with the Phillips head bit that's on here so we're going I'm just gonna unplug all of this and open up the case so I'll be right back all right so guys we're inside the computer um so I'm going to I'm just probably just gonna just try to do this off camera because um, I'll just take out the drive and then yeah I'll take out the drive and then I'll put it in because I can't really record because it's gonna be a panel I just lost one of the case screws so yeah um, I'm just gonna pause it and install and then I'll come back when yeah where you we got the drive installed so yeah Alright guys, so I got the SSD installed. I actually kind of broke the uh, SSD a bit trying to install it. I tried to use the mounting stuff to mount it and I kind of broke it, but who really cares? It's just a mounting uh, thing. Um, we're going, I installed it, I plugged it in, and I put the case back on. I'm going to turn it on. And it should boot up to it, I'm assuming. So, I got Dell and said what the model was. Looks like it's booting. It doesn't seem too much of a speed improvement, but maybe I need to restart. Maybe, maybe I just gotta get the stuff working. So, it says to do control delete. Um, a few moments later. It's just lagging. Alright, so we're, it says preparing desktop. It's just like the other one. Um, and here's what it looks like. I never did show what this computer looks like. Um, failed to initialize smart audio. Well, that's fine. And it looks like, okay, well, install the SSD. So, the, I guess maybe this one wasn't, didn't have any problems. Um, I, oh, the mouse stopped working. Oh, keyboard, yep, it's doing the same stuff. But, like the other one did. Now, the other one, it uninstalled the graphics driver. Now, I'm curious to see, oh, I can't even move the mouse, it won't even let me, because it literally, it literally disconnect, it like literally is installing devices again, like it did on, see, this is why I just wanted to fresh install Windows 7 on this computer, that was my initial goal, but I thought, why not clone it over, see if it would do the thing, but, I can't, the keyboard and mouse lights, oh, it right, shouldn't be doing that. Oh, yep, yep, you uninstalled the graphics driver. Well, um, on this flash drive right here, I have drivers for the computer. Okay, well, the lights came back on. I came and moved the mouse still. Still can't move the mouse. Let me... Yep, it did look like the exact same stuff that it did in the, um, in the last video. And, and oh, and restarted. Thank you, Windows. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna add something funny now. Thank you. If I can remember to put that in, I'd have to pull it from another computer. I could re-download it. That video no, in, that I probably inserted. Someone might be laughing and... If, if you know who you are that's watching, you can comment your reaction. And the keyboard, it's just being like the rest of, like the, so this is going to be a, but everything went wrong video. Because I'm considering, wait, did it say, 
Oh, I... Wait, did, did it switch to a trial? Because this should not... Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's still activated. Okay. Now, what the... Was it trying to install? What? Fine, restart. Restart, fine. I need to install the graphics driver. I need to go back in device manager to see what device it uninstalled. I think like the last video, I think it was just the Intel management engine interface and the graphics driver uninstalled. I do have, um, I don't have snappy driver installed because when I try to install Windows 7 on this computer, I think it's a problem with a five, the Dell Inspiron 570 and the, five, and the 620, um, where they were, um, on Windows 7, I don't, I don't know if it's exactly just Windows 7 or what it is, but, um, it just fails to, um, install, well, well, it just refuses to install the drivers via Snap Driver install. So I have these drivers right here. That's the only drivers I can find that this computer has. Um, let's see, we need to go in device manager, device manager. Um, let's see, I'm guessing that, yeah, Intel Management Engine Interface. I'm guessing that is the inter onboard audio. Um, yeah, um, let's see. Don't need that. Well, we do have the chipset. So, that's still here. Um, we still have the network card because we're also that would show as an unknown device on this computer. It would, it didn't, when I installed Windows 7 on this computer, it did not have the Ethernet driver, like a basic driver installed. So, actually, I should just copy these. I'm gonna just, you know what? I'm just gonna, because I think I need to reinstall the audio driver. Um, I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna copy this whole folder into the documents. Because I don't know if I'm gonna need this again. I don't know. So, I'm just gonna just copy it into the documents folder. Wait, where did it go? I don't know where that went, but I'll just paste it in here again. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right here. I'm blind back. So we need to... We need to get these. No, I'm not going to run them all at once. Um, I'm going to at least first do the... Yeah. I'll just have it create the folders and extract. Alright. So we're going to install the Intel Management Engine in your face. Um, I'm gonna open up device device manager again. Um, let's see. Yes, install. Cause like if you guys remember in the last video, oh, wait, where did it go? Yep, there we go. Fixed it. So yeah, I just had to install that. Um, we need to reinstall the audio because it's complaining. Um, I'll install that last, but, um, yeah. Can you hurry up? I don't, could not find the device for, for this driver, but, um, I do not have any speakers hooked up, so I cannot, so I do not know if that is a fault of, because I got this driver to install before, so I don't know why it's not now not working, because I did not, because, this was just the dedicated or the onboard graphics or well not graphics the uh onboard audio card i did not install a sound card in the computer so i don't know why it's now giving me that error um i don't even see audio anywhere so maybe i don't know maybe it's all i think it's lost its mind um sure restart so that way we can get arrow why not why don't we get arrow? Why do we not have arrow right now? Because we don't have a graph server installed. Because for some reason it uninstalled it. I don't know what it is with Cronus. This is the second computer it's did it on. But we at least kept our activation because I installed a Dell um, Windows 7 ISO onto this computer because it would activate Windows and I would just wouldn't have to worry about activation and all that. And also I'd have the Dell, some of the Dell stuff, which I might actually be getting kind of a similar model to this computer, recovery media for this computer. And yeah, there we go. 
I might be getting recovery media that is kind of is for a computer that had Windows 7 and might be trying it sometime in the future. So if you guys want to see that video possibly, um, I'd have to get it from someone. Um, but I have to back it up from a computer from from someone I know. So maybe I can make a video on trying it and maybe restoring this computer with that media if I can get it to work because it's a Dell computer and you know how Dells are with backing up the recovery it doesn't work properly all the time. So I think we, yeah, we got arrow. Yeah, we got our arrow back. So that's good. Um, a few moments later. Probably it's just, I'm gonna call it a, but everything went wrong because once again, the stuff, well, I mean, technically the activation fixed itself this time it actually, because the last time it actually, I had a like KMS set up because I was trying to activate Office and I didn't want to activate that HP desktop, which I'll put in the link in the description. Um, I'll go type out the uh, the uh, description just so I remember. Um, but I'll put the link in the description or you guys can go watch the But Everything Went Wrong series, which should be coming up in a minute now. So I'm just gonna stop the video, but thank you guys for watching. Comment, action, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you guys receive new notifications on when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye for now.